Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply Q-learning algorithm for the given problem definition. This is the solved example number one. The link for other examples is given in the description below. In this case, we have been given a building with uh, five rooms like 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 are the rooms. The outside is considered as one big room and it is represented as five in this case. Between each room, uh, there are some doors are there. The meaning is that the agent can go from, uh, in this case, uh, 0 to 4 or 4 to 0 in this case. Similarly, the agent can go from 1 to 3 or 3 to 1 in this case. So what we do is uh, we will convert this particular uh, uh, building into a state and actions over here. Each room is represented as uh, uh, the state and the door is represented as an action in this particular case. So this is how actually the thing will look like. Uh, this is the state that is 0, 1, uh, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Between uh, 0 and 4 there is a uh, door here. It represents an action in this case. So the user can or the agent can go from uh, 0 to 4 or he can come from 4 to 0. Similarly, uh, the other things can happen. And one more thing is there is no door between 5 and 5. So the user can go from 5 to 5 over here. So that is represented here. So in this uh, case, uh, uh, we assume that uh, 5 is the goal state here. So we need to identify an optimal path from each and every uh, state to this particular goal state over here. And one more very important thing we need to remember is uh, an action uh, which will lead to this particular goal state uh, will get an instance reward of uh, 100 here. Remaining all are 0 in this particular case. So this is the one action. Uh, this is a second action and third action which will lead to this particular goal state so each and every action is given an instance reward of 100 remaining all are zero in this particular case now uh, what we try to do is uh, we will try to apply the q learning algorithm to this particular uh, uh, can say that state uh, diagram to get the optimal path over here so the very first thing what we need to do is uh, we need to uh, write the reward matrix the reward matrix contains uh, the states as the rows and action as the uh, columns over here. In this case, we have uh, six uh, states, namely 0 to 5. Actions are again uh, six here, namely 0 to 5 in this case. Now, I, I will show you how to put uh, fill this particular uh, reward matrix. Let us assume that you are present in state 0. When you are present in 0, you can perform only one action. That is, uh, this is the action uh, which will uh, go to uh, state number 4. That is, uh, when you are present in state 0, you can perform an action 4 and then what is the reward over here? That is 0. Remaining all are minus 1 in this case. So, uh, from this particular row, you can understand that when you are present in state 0, you can perform only action 4 over here. Similarly, I will uh, talk about this particular second row. Uh, when you are present in state number 1, you can perform an action 5 here or you can perform an action 3 here. If you perform an action 3, the reward is 0. If you perform an action 5, the reward is 100 here. So when you are present in 1, if you perform an action 3, the reward is 0. If you perform an action 5, the reward is 100 here. Similarly, we have to fill this particular entire matrix here. Minus 1 indicates there is no direct edge between that particular states over here. Now, uh, this algorithm I have discussed in detail in the previous video. Uh, the link for that particular video is uh, present in the description below. Go through that particular alg uh, video so that you can understand uh, the Q-learning algorithm in detail. Uh, that will help you to understand this particular uh, example over here. Now, uh, coming back to the next part of this particular algorithm, uh, the very first thing what is required is uh, we need some learning rate. I will initialize it to 0.8. Uh, we need to start from one initial state. I will consider the initial state as 1 over here. And then uh, we need to initialize the Q matrix over here. The Q matrix is initialized to 0 initially. So we have put 0 for every state and action in this particular case. Now what I do is uh, I will consider the initial state as 1. As I, as I said earlier, uh, the, we will start with the initial state as 1. Uh, because the initial state is 1, uh, we can perform two actions over here. Either we can perform 3 or we can five, perform 5 here. So if you perform 3, you will get the immediate reward of uh, 0. And if you perform an action 5, you will get an immediate reward of 100 here. So between these two, we need to select one uh, action here. Let us assume that I will select an action 5 in this case. If I select an action 5, uh, I will get the immediate reward of 100 in this case. And the next state will become 5 over here. Okay, so the current state is 1 and the next state is 5. And the immediate reward in this case is 100 over here. 
now when you get this particular next state as 5 we need to identify what all things we can perform when we are present in the next state 5 over here so what all things you can perform you can perform action 1 because here it is 0 you can perform action 4 because it is 0 here you can perform action 5 here because it is 100 here you cannot perform any other things because uh, uh, when you are present in this particular uh, uh, what you can uh, uh, 5 you can po cannot perform action 0 because it is minus 1 over here you can perform 1 or you can perform 4 or you can perform 5 in this case so now uh, we know the uh, q learning equation that is q of uh, current state comma action current state is or initial state is 1 comma action what we have selected 5 uh, that is uh, the action over here r of uh, state comma action state is 1 action is 5 here so r of uh, 1 comma 5 is how, how much 100 so that will become over here gamma is the learning rate multiplied by maximum of very important point q of next state comma all actions what is the next state we have selected 5 here what are the actions we can perform you can perform 1 4 or 5 so you have to put it over here now uh, q of 1 comma 5 r of 1 comma 5 plus 0.8 that is a gamma maximum of q of next state that is 5 what all actions you can perform first time 1 second time 4 third time 5 here so this particular uh, 5 comma 1 5 comma 4 5 comma 5 in this particular q matrix everything is 0 here so maximum of 0 is uh, 0 multiplied by 0 0.8 is 0 r of 1 comma 5 is how, how much r of 1 comma 5 is equal to 100 so this will become 100 in this case q of 1 comma 5 1 comma 5 will be 100 in this particular case so that is what you can notice in this case now uh, what has happened here is uh, when we were present in this particular initial state 1 and uh, after applying that particular q learning algorithm we have reached to the goal state here because we have reached the goal state one episode has finished now we need to perform the same set of episodes for each and every initial states over here now uh, what i will do is i will consider the initial state as 3 for the next episode so if i consider 3 as the uh, initial state for the next episode you can see here you can perform an action 1 or action 2 or action 4 because we have some values here remaining all are minus 1 so we cannot perform those particular actions that is what i have written here now between these uh, three we need to select uh, one action uh, let us say that uh, i will select action one in this particular case so the current state or the initial state is three and the next state is equal to one in this particular case from the initial state to one we got the in immediate reward as zero in this case that's a one more important point we need to remember here now once you select one as the next state what all things you can perform you can perform an action three or you can perform an action 5 over here so those are the two things you can perform here so we will uh, put those body things in this equation again the initial state is 3 and action we have selected is 1 so 3 1 over here gamma of maximum what is the next state we have selected the next state we have selected is 1 what all action you can perform is 3 and 5 over here so if you put all those things in this equation that is 3 comma 1 r 3 comma 1 what is r 3 comma 1 3 comma 1 what is the value here 0 so that is what i have written here Point 0.8 is the gamma value max max is nothing but uh, max of uh, this particular part so max of q next state is what next state we have selected 1 what are the actions you can perform 3 and then 5 over here so 1 comma 3 and 1 comma 5 1 comma 3 is how much 1 comma 3 is equal to 0 1 comma 5 is equal to 100 here so 0 and 100 between these two what is the maximum that is 100 here so 100 multiplied by 0.8 is 80 and this particular part is already 0 3 comma 1 you can see here 3 comma 1 is equal to 0 here so this will lead to 80 in this particular case the value of uh, q 3 comma 1 you can see here 3 comma 1 is 0 initially now it has become 80 in this particular case that is 3 comma 1 is equal to 80 over here now uh, we need to perform these particular uh, uh, episodes uh, because we have done with only two episodes till now uh, the same thing has to be repeated again and again uh, once you do this particular things again and again you will come up with this particular final uh, q matrix over here now once you get this particular q matrix you can trace any sequence over here that is what is possible uh, let us assume that uh, we are present in the initial state 2 so we will try to get the best optimal what you can say that the path here 
so if that is the case either you can draw this particular diagram or a state diagram or you can trace it over here also now when you are present in this particular two you can uh, select one best uh, value from this particular row so right now we have only one uh, best value that is uh, 64 which will lead to state number 3 so when you are present in state number 3 here we have uh, three possible values 80 51 and 80 between these three 80 is the best value so either you can select one here or you can select four over here so if you select one it will go this path if you select four it will go to this particular path now if you have selected one from one which is the best possible path this is the five over here so you can say that two to three three to one one to five over here similarly if you have selected four in this particular case from four you can select the best path as uh, this one that is a five is the next action you can select so two to three three to four and then four to uh, five in this particular case so this is how we can apply a q learning algorithm to any given problem definition i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching